Hi everyone, in this video we will cover how to enter a text in text box in APM. So first I will show you manually and then we will see the same using automation script. So first I will start my Android studio and also I will start my APM server. Here in Android studio go to your virtual device manager and launch your device. So I have already created this device. I will launch it and also I will start my APM server. So post 0.0.0.0 and port number 4723 and I will start this one. So it is running and also our device is also ready. We can cross check using ADB device is command in command prompt. So this device is listed here. So it is ready to use. Now I will start my inspector session and I will try to connect to this virtual device. So I already have this desired capability saved here which is having platform name Android platform version 8.1. This is the device name Nexus 5 API 27 automation name UI Automator 2 and I will install this APK file. So this is here at C drive. So I will install this app on the virtual device. So we have this desired capabilities. For the first time you can go to here and you can save this desired capabilities and from the next times you can already have it here and you can launch it from here. Now I will select this one and start my inspector session. So our app is ready to use. It's launched in the virtual device and it is also starting in the APM server desktop. Now what we will do in this app is first we need to click on this accept button. So I will click here select this one we will find the xpath or we will locate this web element element and we'll click on it so manually in the apm server desktop i will select this and in our automation script we need to use the click method now here we have this daily automate backup so the next step i will find and locate this one and we'll click on it so you can select here and tab now here we have this edit button so i am not able to locate it using this select elements option so what i will do i will expand this source code and we will try to find and locate it from here only so this is that edit button so i will select this one from here and will tap on it now again i am getting two more options here so i am getting this option like edit description here so i will select that option from source code only because i will not be able to locate it again using this inspector option so i will locate it using this option and will click on it using this tab now here we are having this two text box so we can enter our text here so i will select this one and then here you can pass your text so here you can you have the option like send keys here so also you can copy this id you can search your locator here and you can locate this element and you can pass the text from here as well so test title and use this option send keys so you can see 
it has entered test title here similarly i can go for the next so here i can edit the description here we are getting this id now i will use this option and i can enter like test description so you can see test title and test descriptions we have entered the text here and next option we have to choose like we need to click on this save button so this is the id and it's matching only one element so we can use this id and we can click on it so we will now try to perform the same actions using our automation code so let me open my clips here so in our com.qa.test cases package i have created one class that is send kiss demo here now what we are trying to perform here so i have created this class and we have uh, located and find out the all the elements that we require so first we will need accept button then uh, we need to locate the daily automate button then we need to find this path of edit title edit description save button and also we are having edit icon and edit properties icon here so now we have declared our android driver as public so we can use it uh, throughout the class and we have mentioned this uh, before method so we are having this setup method which will uh, execute before this edit text method here we are having the same desired capabilities so we have created this gap object and we are this setting the desired capabilities as we are setting our device name so this is the device name we are setting it as triple five four which is same triple five four emulator triple five four then we are providing our app path so this is the app desired capability here and we are passing the path using this line of code so it will start from here it will go to the applications folder and it will take this apk file and it will install this apk on the this virtual device we are also setting the auto grant permission as true to automatically grant the required permissions for this app and then we are launching and connecting to and we are starting our uh, session and we are passing our desired capabilities here so next step is our test case uh, so what we are doing right now is uh, we are first clicking on this accept button then we are clicking on this daily automate here then we are clicking on the edit icon then on the properties icon so we are clicking on this one then on this edit properties button then we are entering our text in these two boxes so using this send keys method we are passing test title and test description here and then we are clicking on the save button after that we are just waiting for two seconds and then we are fetching the text from this only like if we save here like test title and test description after clicking on this save button we are fetching this 
two things like we are checking what is the title right now and what is the description after we save our changes so we are cross checking like if the title is now test title and title description is test description if we get this one then our test case is pass else our test case will be marked as fail and after that we will quit or close our driver session so in this way using this send keys method we can enter a text in a text box